In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using the solubility of a compound to calculate Ksp. To solve this type of problem, we need to begin by writing a balanced equation for the dissociation of whatever ionic compound has been provided to us. This molecule is going to dissociate into Ni2 plus ions and two hydroxide ions. And we're going to use that to make an ice table to help us visualize this particular process. We don't have any idea how much uh, a nickel 2 hydroxide we're starting with. We do know that we're starting with no products here. We know that we will be reacting minus X, dissociating minus X of the NiOH2 compound, and that means we'll make plus X of the nickel and plus 2X of the hydroxide because of that stoichiometric coefficient right there. And then when this is all done, we still aren't going to know how much nickel hydroxide we have. Uh, we will have X of the nickel 2 plus ion, and we will have 2X of the hydroxide ion. The problem tells us that the solubility of this compound is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 4, and that is in units of grams per liter. In an ice table, the solubility of the compound is represented right here. So that 4.9 times 10 to the minus 4, that is giving us the, that highlighted green X value that I have there. So this is specifically 4.9 times 10 to the minus 4 grams of NiOH2. Now these units of grams per liter are not compatible with an ice table. Ice tables units, we want them in units of moles per liter or molarity. So the very first thing that I'm going to do here is convert those grams of NiOH2 into moles. And again, the reason for doing this is just to get this into the same unit as what we have in an ice table. Um, and the molecular weight of this guy is 93 grams per mole. So this, our gram units will cancel out, and this is going to give me 9.4 times 10 to the minus 4 divided by 93. This gives me 5.27 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per liter. And that actually is... I should take this arrow away right there. So that, this is the molar solubility. That is the actual number that is reflected by X. Now the problem is asking us to calculate the Ksp value, the equilibrium constant value. We should begin by writing an equilibrium expression. So that's going to be Ni2 plus concentration times OH minus concentration squared. Don't forget that because we have a stoichiometric coefficient here. We now have a, a superscript over here. And our expression for the nickel is, is X. So that's going to be X. And our expression for the OH minus is 2X. So that's going to be 2X. And the 2X is going to be squared. So this is going to give us, when it's all said and done, 4X cubed. Now we have said, we have determined that the value of X is 5.27 times 10 to the minus 6. So this is our value of x, and we're just going to take that number and we're going to plug that into the 4x four, four cubed. 4 times 5.27 times 10 to the minus 6 cubed. That will give us our Ksp value. This works out on my calculator to be 5.85 times 10 to the minus 16. Alex wants this to two significant figures, so it's going to be 5.9 times 10 to the minus 16. Remember that these are unitless constants, so there's no unit to be attached there. And there you go.